First thing I need to do in order to make videos with Windows Movie Maker is to, to get the source of my video where I can make actually videos out of images. Let's say I'm teaching social sciences and I want to make A video on uh, the Great Depression or the New Deal. Search for images, and here I have Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, I'm going to save the image, and I'm going to save it in a folder I've made called Social Studies. Got one image, and um, this is a pretty famous image here. And does anybody know this image? And I have that image. And another image on Highway Signs in Alabama. And one last image cartoon image to end it. And I'm right clicking and see the image as socialism. And search image. Okay. I have all my images saved. And now I must open Windows Movie Maker. This is it. There's a clip in there. I'm going to cut it. Okay, now I have to import pictures. Those are image files. And I have it in uh, the social studies folder. And here are all the images. I click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one. They're all highlighted and click import. And there are the images there. And here is where I put the images uh, down here in the timeline. You have been the image here can be seen in the playback screen. And um, so I'll go ahead and drag these images down. I have the timeline or the storyboard. You can see the difference. Storyboard, I can drag the image directly into a spot. And so I'll drag my images down, use the scroll bar, and there I put my five images down. Now I can put effects, I can, or transitions, I can, um, or titles. I'll put a title at the beginning, uh, the great impression. I can change the title animation, mirror it, I can edit the title text, and change the color to text color to black, okay, and change the background to yellow, okay. There's my title. And then I can add uh, something at the end. But then uh, to record my, turn my images into video, I click uh, publish to this computer. Notice it's saving in the video folder, and I'll call it the Great Depression. I can use this video maybe at the beginning of the class. And I can compress it or use the best quality playback. So if I click here, it was really large, I can compress it. And click publish, and it will publish my video, short one, and click uh, finish.
and there is my video. Now I can add text overlay, I can pause it, I can add text. So I can go back and re-edit it and add a title and credit right on top of the clip. Who is this? A title. K. And I'll go back to the beginning and you can play it. And you'll see who is this. So you can prompt uh, questioning and inquiry. And it goes to the end. I can re publish my Great Depression number two. Next, and there's the best quality or compressive. It was very large. Test stream only allows for 100 megabytes for a single file. Click publish. I publish it in a matter of seconds, very short. A little bit longer because now I added that text. Um, and it's almost done. And I'm going to finish it. And here is my video. Pause it. Okay, that's it. Thank you.